You said when you travel between your town and another town, you listen to Mach 5 to drive as fast as possible. <laughs> That's Offspring for me. I can't listen to Offspring while I'm driving. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I'll get a speeding ticket on my way to get tacos. That Halloween's not so bad because you don't really get spammed with it when you go into stores and everything, but when Christmas comes around, my streams are always a refuge from the Christmas music until the day of on Christmas, and then I listen to some off-the-wall shit. It's like, okay, I listen to Christmas music, but it's not the regular stuff. It's a little bit weird. I gotta focus. There's no one here to make me focus but me. Do you understand the struggles? <laughs> oh, that was a big pop. My spine, it is bones. Oh, oh gosh, all right, big stretch. I was chasing my chicken around the yard earlier. She was being an asshole. I was like, oh my God, you're just like a toddler. I'm like, come on, let's go back in the... She's like, no, I'm gonna hide under the table. It's raining and I want to go back inside, but no, my fucking chicken wants to hide. I just shake the food until... I'm like, come on, aren't you hungry? And then eventually she's like, you know what? Yeah, 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 I do want snacks. It was a battle of wills today. That was when the cops knew she fucked up. I know sometimes the commissioners notice the way I title stuff, so once in a while I do the goofy things. It used to be absolutely off the rails, the shit I would name the files I sent to my commissioners, and some of my sketches are still pretty wild if I don't need to find it again. All of my commissions I've started to name with, like, the date and the commissioner, so I can keep track of stuff so I can find it again, but I really, really miss the goofy named stuff. <laughs> Trust the process. Trust the process. Trust. Trust the process. If I didn't know the way I drew. I think what the fuck is going on here? We all float down here. You'll get me where I'm at on the day I'm at. I can still be goofy. Just low energy goofy. It's fine. Unfortunately, I'm only so ripped. And by that, I mean I'm, I'm not that buff. Not gonna lie. The ladies like my biceps, so it's a good motivator to stay on my exercises and my posture exercises. I'm like, okay. Swoon. <laughs> my secret weapon. I'm like, oh no, I've learned that girls find me very attractive. And if I approach with confidence, oh boy. So I just have to find a short girl who wants me to like do that, put the arm against the wall thing. And then I'm just set. That's all I have to do. Be like, hi, I'm tall. And they'll be like, huh. <laughs> touch his fingers. Uh, it's funny. There's so much of the bisexual panic and it's like, oh no, <laughs> what do I do? And I'm like, it's over now. We've entered the era of Riz. There's a girl at the store and I can't tell if she's flirting with me and she's at work. So I think it's inappropriate to like hit on people while they're working <laughs> out of respect i'm like man if i am misreading signals i really don't want to make stuff awkward if somebody's just being friendly but she's like did you find everything that you want today i was like oh yeah and she's like oh you always seem to know what you want and i was just like yeah just like uh, i want your number and i'm like screaming it inside my head it didn't make it out of my mouth and i'm like why it was so smooth and i'm like but she's at work don't hit on her and that's it. There you go. That's the bi panic of like, I don't want to be rude or creepy, so I didn't do it. But oh my god, that w would have been just the best. Wait, I draw kobolds with three fingers. This is a lizard born. Does he have four toes? I feel like kobolds have three, and lizard folk dragon born might have more toes. How many toes does a dragon born have? If it were up to me, kobolds would have toe beans, though. You're like, Scots, why? You know, why the fuck not? They are technically dog, like, dog, 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 rat, rat, dog, fuck it. Just give them little scrunkly, little scrunkly rat paws. I guess they don't technically have paw pads because rats don't. Because they're, they're like little, ah, oh, rat goblins. They're a fantasy creature and I can make them as scrunkly as I want to and nobody can stop me. And in fact, some of you pay me. So it's fine. <laughs> what if I made him scrunklier? We can rebuild him. We can redraw him. We can make him scrunklier. I think kobolds should have toe beans. Leave me alone. Kobolds should have toe beans. Change my mind. I can't type for shit. That's fine. I can draw at least. I don't have to spell or be able to do math except for basic, basic <laughs> addition and subtraction. 
get to multiplication and I start, you know what? I, I, I guess I struggle with multiplication. Well, okay, not that, oh, <laughs> that sounds bad. Scott's dumb. Yeah, I'm dyslexic as hell. So I can't really hold more than like one number in my head. So I have trouble when it comes to adding large digits, but like when it comes to like basic addition and, and basic multiplication, I like I'm usually pretty good, but past some of like what you memorized, I'm generally a little slower to do because I just can't retain the numbers in my head visually and it messes me up. But if I write stuff down, it's fine. Like I can do the math. I can't do mental math. There you go. I can do math. I can't do mental math. Again, this is why I draw butts and I'm not a surgeon. Congratulations. Know your weaknesses. Play to your strong points. If anything, I was definitely going to go for being welding though. Like, that's where I was gonna put my attention to detail. The way I can get a feel for materials is really the main reason, without being like, oh, I'm bragging. Like, I, a humble brag, I picked up a plasma cutter for the first time and used it like a boss because a basic understanding and also applying other stuff I've done to it. Now, if you looked at the welds I've actually made, they are not great. I only got to take an art class one time. I never actually got to go and uh, do the welding classes because unofficially they didn't like training women to be welders because they would just quit to be mothers. And I'm like, oh, well, I don't plan on having kids. Can I fucking weld? Like, come on. There were basically the minimum quota of women welders hired because more or less the, the, the policy was why train women when they're just gonna leave when they have kids which is pretty wild. It's a whole bigger thing there to go down. <laughs> so we'll set it down, but you know what I mean. And uh, it was just crazy that like, I tried for four years to get into the welding school and essentially each year they only let in one chick. And I was like, really? And they're like, oh, well we go by seniority. And I'm looking and the chick they hired had more seniority than me. But there were guys who'd only been working at the company like three to six months less than me and they were in the weld school and I was like, you son of a bitches. So needless to say, I'm sure I dodged some kind of bullet dealing with bullshit in that industry. They're like, we can't train you to weld. You'll leave us and go somewhere else and make more money. Like probably. <laughs> How many toes is one of those questions an artist asks you that makes you go back and check all of your art and realize everything you've ever gotten is completely different in a way you've never noticed? Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. All right, we got three toes. Yeah, I did that with uh, Zayzay's Sunny. I swear to God, every picture drawn of Sunny, her little like cheek fins are different. Here, I can draw. So she's got like, I think on the sheet it's like this and then they're kind of at like an angle but it's more or less uh like a fin and I've tried really hard to figure out what the shape is or what's going on with it. I'm still confused exactly what's up with the original ref just a tiny tiny bit as clear as you think some stuff is sometimes it's really hard <laughs> to be like what is what is, what? We're not working from a photorealistic thing. We're working from something that's an idea to start with. It's very interesting. But essentially she's got cheek fins with piercings, but in every drawing it's drawn slightly different. And I was just like, Zay, which reference has the most accurate cheek fins? Because I don't know which one to go by. <laughs> and so at least I know to go and reference that one detail off of the original. So even if I draw it different every time, at least I'm not making a copy of a copy. We're, we're making a copy off the original. <sighs> All right, I'm struggling with those toe beans. <laughs> the bean struggle. I wanted to build a giant spider for Halloween. No, I don't know, it's kind of too late in the season. I think I'm just gonna put the pieces I gathered and like put them away. Or I could stream making like my crafts and shit. I could see if my floor space in here is big enough to fit the spider. Oh my God, it's such a big spider. I was like, I'm gonna make a giant spider. And then the spider I made is huge. Like 13 gallon trash bag for an ass, huge. 
and I have a bunch of like like inch and a half thick styrofoam that something came packaged in. I have like a couple of sacks in my cellar. My basement. I just have some fucking styrofoam. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I'm going to use it for something, damn it. And then the last time I was screwing around in my basement, I was like, I want to get rid of this or use it. And then Halloween came around and I'm like, what could I make legs with? And I'm like, I can take some foam and I I can take the styrofoam. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tape it to, to some wire. Make giant legs out of some, I think it's steel wire. I don't know. I hoard a bunch of craft shit. <laughs> I can never buy stuff. So whenever somebody's like, hey, somebody was getting rid of this and I thought you could make something out of it. I'm like sure and I try to package it and label it and stick it somewhere and so it was kind of like a treasure hunt trying to find bits to make my spider I was cleaning my house and then I'm like hmm oh I wonder about this and I went over and I grabbed like the little wire bits and stuff and I was like oh I wonder about this so it was fun it was fun to build them little bits at a time I basically got to the point where I taped the foam together for one leg and I was like yeah this is feasible and then like I just left it <laughs> like I don't know if I have time for it I can still think about it or I'll just like wait for trick-or-treaters and I'll just work on my giant spider I had a bearded dragon for a little bit I've never seen something eat vegetables with 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 such just absolute I thought he was a real dragon every time he ate lettuce just because it was that intense. I love that though. It was like 10 years ago I had a bearded dragon. So I got him um, right after I got sick, but before I wrecked my car. So like, I didn't know how hard it was gonna be to take care of him afterwards, but he was pretty chill because he was an old man. Uh, so he didn't really need a lot. So whenever I took him out to like chill, like that's, he just wanted to sit on a towel in the fucking sun. He didn't, he didn't want to run around anywhere. He didn't want to fight anything. He didn't want to eat anything that wasn't his crickets or his lettuce. Like he was, he was good. He was a fine old, old lad. And uh, he kept me company like directly after um, I got sick and everything. So I still think of him very fondly for even though he was, <laughs> he was a bearded dragon. <laughs> they, he still had some personality. He still had pep, but he was somebody to talk to. I'd walk by and I'd be like, fuck, puff. <laughs> like he knew what was going on, you know? He would just look at me with his grumpy little face. Like he hated the world and I'm like, yep, you get it, bro. You get it. <laughs> he was just a cranky little guy. So I haven't really had any pets since just because it's been hard to, hard to afford them. A chicken actually is the first one I've had, but she also kind of, <laughs> she, she contributes. She's not a little, she's not a little freeloader. She makes eggs. Man, I think I'm like maybe actually going to go out to a convention next year too. I was real upset. I missed out on like everyone this year and I might be able to go to Northwest Anthrocon, if I actually remember. Comic Con's too much. That's way too much. Too much, too much people, too much, too much, too much. I went to Comic Con a couple of times before like cosplaying and everything got really big. I didn't have that big of an issue getting tickets to go. Like, I had to make sure I got the, the three day passes pretty quick if I wanted to get them. But it wasn't like now where to get a three day pass for for Comic-Con was I feel like they were sold out really quickly. And then the one time we were trying to see about getting even just a day pass, it was sold out. So we went up just to kind of like wear our outfits anyways, because we'd made them for a different convention and see about like getting lunch or something because there's a park out back the out, outside of the, the convention center and stuff so it's like there's cool places to go take photos and uh there's a, you get to see other people's cosplays and stuff and so like we couldn't uh go into the convention center at all but it was neat to be near the convention center and see everybody who's got all their cosplays and stuff because 
I think it's really neat the level of work people put into some of that. But we saw scalpers who were selling like one day tickets that were like the cost of the three day pass tickets outside. I was just like, that's ridiculous. It was definitely different trying to go like 10 years ago. I'm gonna go ahead and take a break for the last hour or two before I go to bed. That'll be nice. And then I've got this one ready to go for tomorrow. I've got this one ready to shade and uh, if anybody else is interested, just hit me up on Discord. I'm doing sketches. I got the prices over there. Oh, I didn't have chat up this whole time. No, I suck. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go recharge my brain cells, get my get my meat sponge some rest. Everybody take care, have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow uh, when we get some more art done. Have a good one. <laughs>